Hey Sea Wolves Nation, it's Sam Ederman here with new defensive coordinator Brian Collins and we are talking defense today. Coach Collins, pleasure to have you. Thank you for taking the time. Great to be here, Sam. Absolutely. Coach, congratulations. Your first season now as a defensive coordinator coming up. It's your third year on staff. Mm -hmm. Just take me through what, what what's going through your head right now as you prepare for prepare for the new role. Sure. Um, you know, we're getting we're doing do things differently. The the, the scheme of a four two five defense will, will remain the same. Uh, what we've been doing, but there's going to be little tweaks and coverages and some of the way we set our fronts and everything. So really, it's about getting our coaches on point um, so that we're all on the same page so we can present it to our players. And this is a great time to do it. You know, we're, we're just back from break and uh, the players are working out. We get a chance to meet with them uh, one time a week so uh, we can install slowly. You know, we can put it down on paper, walk it, talk it, chalk it and, and do all the things in the, in the teaching progression that we need to do. Coach, you've been with the staff now for two years. How big is that continuity factor when it comes to terminology yeah. and that type of carryover? Yeah, it, it is important. Um, I think we want, we're looking for the right type of balance because we've been running this defense for a while now. So um, I think it's important to keep terminology somewhat the same. Um, and some of the things we're going to do are going to be very, very similar, but yet give them a little bit different names because we kind of got caught in our names and we did a lot of things towards the end of the season as well as far as stealing signals and team stealing signals so you know we're trying to keep that balance of um, you know familiarity with our defensive players yet uh, a nice sense of spirit with our new stuff going in that we're excited that we're doing some different things and new things and that's always good as well so um, it is a sensitive balance you know we don't want to just make a wholesale change and throw out that because it certainly doesn't need to be thrown out and so it's just about, about tweaking it and keeping it fresh and new and exciting. You mentioned the new coach obviously you want to have a pivot to improve to win some ball games here yeah. what will it take to make this defense competitive in the CAA and be that top caliber defense you want? Yeah I mean what well, starts with the dudes you know it's not about the X's and O's always it's about the Jimmy and the Joe's so um, you know our players look like they came back strong I think we have some great new additions so you know that part of it our personnel you know and finding out what our personnel can do and we've had some I think impact players join our team in the new year and I think we got some great experience returning from last year so that mixture is exciting and then uh, then it's about putting them these great athletes and these great football players in schemes that make them successful so you know last year if we look at some of the stats and and, and I don't look too much into the stats because it is what it is we're two and nine that's the main, the main stat for us but if we were lacking in interceptions, why is it? You know, do we always have our back turned in certain coverages? Are we playing too much man or too much quarters or whatever have it? Maybe we need a little bit more zone coverage so that we face up the ball a little bit more and get our turnovers. Maybe it's something we're doing up front with our D-line. So those little tweaks, um, you know, again, getting great football players and put them in position to succeed. And, and that's what we're trying to do here. Coach, you've had a defensive background throughout your entire football career, going back to your playing days at St. John's, your head coaching days at LIU Post. We were just catching up. This is the first time that you'll be a D coordinator again yeah. since you're, I mean, you'll be back on the field. Uh, Colin plays down on the field. We were talking about if you had ever been up in the booth. The yeah. last time you were up in the booth was with Lou Amarillo, who's a current D coordinator of the Cincinnati Bengals right now. Yeah. You've yeah. seen a lot of defenses. You've called a lot of defenses. Yeah, well, we've, we've done it for a long time, but it's funny, Sam, because I could never fire myself. <laughs> Obviously, uh, if things didn't go well on defense, and certainly I, I appreciative of Coach Priori uh, giving me this opportunity and trusting me with it, and, and certainly he's, he, he wants to be you know up to date on what we're doing and, and input on what we're doing, and certainly as a head coach, um, I understand that part of it. And uh, it is a little different because at the end of the day, you know, where it might have been all about wins and losses, it is about wins and losses still to this day. But you still want your team to perform num numerically pretty well. And uh, but I will tell you, you know, um, at the end of Saturday, I don't care what the score is. As soon as we come out on top, we're going to enjoy that. We're going to be excited. We're going to get prepared for the next game. But if we gave up a lot of points, you know, I'm going to have those conversations with Coach Peoria, and I'm sure that'll be different for me. So, uh, but I am looking forward to it. It's new and it's exciting, and that's what we want to look at, look like in our profession. Is always something new, keeps you young. Coach, you've seen a lot of football, and playing on the defensive side of the ball has been maybe even more challenging than ever in college football right yeah. now. 
the tempo that you guys see, the, yeah. the RPO game and how it's been a factor the last five years. Yeah. How much has defending in the sport definitely changed? Yeah, they're not making it any easier either. <laughs> I like to see them take away the cut block from the offensive line and, and those type of things. They should just take away with that. But, um, yeah, the rules are made for an exciting game with football and scoring, you know, scoring sells seats. But defense wins championships. and. Certainly, it becomes hard to defend, um, and that's why, scheme-wise, we talked about it our first day in our unit meeting. Number one is attack. Round one, you know, Marvin Hagler versus Tommy Hearns. I don't know if anybody knows those names anymore, but the greatest round of boxing ever, and it happened in round one. So we want to attack in round one. We want to attack the def uh, offense and, and dictate what they do. And the second thing is we have to have the schemes that are sim simple but effective so that when we can handle these motions and these shifts, uh, that the offense have given us, our players don't have any mental bust. They're comfortable, their feet are set, they know what they've got to do responsibility-wise, and they can just attack and play football. Coach, you mentioned how personnel and recruiting is obviously crucial in yeah. any football operation. What's the type of player that you guys will be looking for on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, speed and athleticism is pretty much it. You know, we, we, we're not looking as much for you, you know, how, how big you are. We do like long players because with length gives you more added athleticism at times. You can cover more space just by your length. So um, I think we covered that in our recruiting uh, this year. I think we've got some tall kids on the back end. Jeffrey Davis, a corner came in. And you look at our corners now with QP and Julian Ganther and Walensky Nicholas and Jeff Davis. These are tall corners. Um, you know, you look at our safeties. You know, uh, we, we, we kind of moved Shamel over there. So with Shamel and Jordan and Corey Gross is a new addition. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to forget anybody. Uh, Noah Rodriguez and Chimenti, they're, they're all taller kids. So we're getting tall on that back end. Uh, Rover, you know, Isaiah Givens is looking. He's a six foot four kid up front. We're getting a little bit taller. So the length that we're looking for and speed and athleticism is going to dictate what we do, and I think in our 4-2-5 base defense, that's what we're looking for. Coach, I cannot wait to see it on the field. August 31st is going to come pretty quick when Delaware comes to town, that Thursday night opener. Yeah. But for now, we've got the rest of the winter offseason and then spring ball. Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Great, great being here, Sam.